you doing? Gray Man here, and I'm here to help you uh, do a little research on prepping. You probably stumbled across this channel or one like it, uh, and trying to figure out why you should start prepping and why preppers do what they do. Well, I'm here to give you a few reasons why, how important prepping is, and what of a great, a great, let's say, a great lifestyle to choose. Let's start with reason number one. Well, you know, you don't have to hunt down supplies uh, in difficult times. Uh, what is the first thing people do when a storm approaches? They run to that store, uh, they get into those long lines, uh, you know, and they're trying to find supplies to weather the storm or whatever the case may be. Uh, but guess what? Since you're a prepper, you're already stocked up. Your family has peace of mind, you have peace of mind, and you're not fighting for that last roll of toilet paper or that last bit of food or water. You're prepared and you're ready to go. Less anxiety and less stress. Reason number two. Having peace of mind, just imagine, you know, natural disasters can be terrifying in themselves, but if you prepared your home, your cupboards, your family, that's one less thing you got to deal with. And that's going to alleviate a lot of the issues that you have to deal with when a storm or something like that approaches you in a certain situation, right? Also, that leaves you with more time to deal with more pressing matters that might come up. Just saying. Good reason, right? Hey. Reason number three, stocking up is just part of the prepping equation. Having a plan is key. And what I mean by that is knowing what you're going to do in certain situations. So to kind of give you an idea what I mean is what if you and your family are separated at the time that a natural disaster occurs? So having a place to meet and know what to do in that situation. Also knowing certain routes out the city. If you live in a city, knowing what routes best suit you. That will be less crowded if you had to do that. Also, knowing places where you can find clean and drinkable water, another key resource that you need to survive. So it goes just beyond just stocking and prepping your prepper pantry and whatnot. You also have to have a good plan in place. And your family and everyone has to know this plan to be all on the same page. So reason number three, have a plan. Hey, reason number four. Technology might not be there when you need it. So much, so many of us, so many of us are dependent on technology when disaster strikes. You know, you'll go to Pinterest or Google or YouTube and try to find out some information on the situation that you have in front of you and try to learn how to resolve that situation. Well, just think about this. Technology may not be there when you need it the most. So having something tangible, let's say a book, or just education and knowledge already up here will make you way better prepared. So just remember, technology may not always be there when you need it. All right, so we are here for reason number five. Big reason for me, because basically when an emergency or disaster happens, you're on your own. You can't expect emergency services or whatnot to swoop in and save you. They're going to be overwhelmed and spread thin. So one thing you need to do is understand that you are in charge of your family's survival in any situation that comes around your way. A lot of people get complacent in that aspect that they just figure they're going to call 911 uh, and they're going to come in to save the day. Don't get complicit in that aspect. You want to be prepared. And I'm not trying to scare you folks. I just want you to educate and learn what being a prepper is. It's more than just, you know, the things that we do. It's, it's, a, it's a lifestyle. And uh, it's a very, I guess, in, in my aspect from it, it's a security blanket uh, for me and my family uh, for anything that happens to happen uh, be it a natural disaster or whatever comes our way so if you can check out channels like myself and others out there and learn a bit about preparedness and what prepping really is don't pay attention to some of these crazy articles that you may read it goes way beyond that a lot of us you know are learning gardening uh, you know animal husbandry uh, all kinds of different techniques on how to start fires uh, without something as simple as a lighter a lot of great information out there. So I suggest to you folks, especially if you stumbled across my channel, go out there and check many channels out there, some great information. So go out there, type in the word prepper or preparedness or survival in that YouTube uh, little thing and learn while you can. Learn while everything is normal and there is nothing pressing in the world happening. Uh, and it's hard to say that because we're you know involved in what's going on now in the world, but a lot of people have turned to channels like myself and others because they're scared and they're very concerned to where things are headed. 
So why not educate yourself now why you can and become prepared and ensure the safety of you and your family. Hopefully you got something out of this and I would appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up uh, and uh, go check out some other channels as well. Thank you all so much for being here. You enjoy the rest of your day. God bless. This is Gray Man. I'm out. I'll see you guys on the rebound.